little bit just a little bit threatening some energy right here <laughs> um what this is love it so i think zane has been playing um Sephiroth, they played it in their run if i remember correctly and they played diddy which is very interesting um but yeah definitely interesting to see how this matchup is gonna go out this is definitely two um dlc characters just kind of making waves you know after they came out yeah um both strong characters um Sephiroth is definitely a strong character as you as be there Sephiroth is definitely a strong character. Um, there's a little bit of back and forth about how strong Sephiroth is, but I think we could all agree that Sephiroth is a pretty good character. Pyramithra is also a character that's um, been on the rise lately, especially online if you saw like the you know those PG stats, PG stat list like with all the characters that have been being played on Wi-Fi. So uh, yeah, no, two pretty like new DLC popular characters, but um, yeah, like right now I'm um, saying. Dan looks like he's in a little bit of trouble with that LESD. Didn't do him any favors. Definitely the thing that I love mentioning about sorties in general is how they generally have a bubble, not the same bubble, but a bubble that they use or that they it kind of represents, you know, how they choose to go about like their moves, just like in, in terms of like spacing, you know, like how you can kind of maneuver around them, but the thing with Sephiroth is actually that he doesn't really have that type of bubble because his um, forward air is just a straight line more so rather than kind of using it in terms of like, you know, uh, in terms of like a, a circle, like how most sorties do, they swing their sword down and whatnot. But it's mostly in terms of their fair, their um, F, um, I think up air is more a wider space. And whatnot, but yeah. Yeah, I, I think um, I think grounded wise, I feel like the tilt moves are um, are pretty good for them, right? Because I feel like Sephiroth definitely controls distance with forward tilt, right down tilt, um, you know, as like you know, uh, punishing tool, right? But like this angle forward tilt and forward smash sometimes can like do wonders. Um, right now, I mean, you see Jonathan right now, have, he's been putting on pressure on Zane since the jump, and even after the SD, uh, Jonathan G has been pretty under, like, right under Sephiroth, and that's where it's coming from trouble. We see small characters that can chase Sephiroth down, and that's, like, one of the weaknesses that we keep down. Yeah, like, definitely kind of getting up in Sephiroth's face is one of the best things for, like, your character and that was an amazing kill right there um set up i think down it looked like down or forward air i think mostly down air um into up smash which is really amazing especially considering how strong um pyra is and and that's what that's one of the shortcomings of sephiroth right <clears throat> sephiroth although being pretty strong a pretty strong character is very light <clears throat> and got down aired i believe what, 66% they got down here at? I think so? I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, so got down here at 66% and lost their stock. Um, so. Absolutely. It can definitely be really scary if you're not kind of like being very wary of, um, you know, this character. But I definitely think, um, Zane had that game. Um, but that SC that they had, um, definitely kind of held them back but wow switching it up and going Mega Man I know they definitely do have a lot of characters that they kind of use but definitely very interesting to see you know what they're gonna do probably just trying out a lot of um secondaries that they have yeah I, I I'm not gonna lie out of all the characters that Zane has played I've never seen the Mega Man like this is uh, this is the first I know Zane is a person who plays a bunch of characters um, I've seen, I, I see the Icy, I've seen, obviously the Duck Hunt, I've seen the Peach for a while, I've seen the Rob, never seen the Mega Man, this is interesting, but I, I, I'll be honest with you, I feel like they're kind of counterpicking themselves right now. <laughs> this is definitely a matchup that Mega Man can struggle in, I feel like, when it comes to details. But yeah, ooh, um, going to get into this game. Definitely looking like, um, ooh, 
Um, Jonathan G has a little bit more of a handle on these characters. Um, yeah, right. That up B is definitely very scary. Yeah, um, John definitely just threw it out in in case of a uh, in case of in case of a dash up. That was to check the dash specifically, and we got one smoke for it. Um, so, wow, very nice combo coming out there, there, um, from Jonathan G. Just trying to... Ooh, the coverage, the coverage. Oh, and then... Oh. They are really just trying to end Zane's career. That's... That was just, that was just dirty. I'm sorry, that was just dirty. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely a very big hill to climb for Zane. Um, yeah, and I feel like yeah, sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like Zane in the situation really didn't have a lot of options. I feel like all they could probably done is roll or hold shield and look like his shield was about to break, so. <clears throat> Definitely just canceling that um, metal blade out right there. Very nice option coming in from Jonathan G. Wow. Nair. Was not expecting Nair to kill there. Yeah. No, Nair, 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 is a, Nair is a strong move oh. um, by Pyro. Oh. Definitely a very strong move. Um, I, I feel like I didn't realize how, how high a percent Mega Man was at. Yeah. But that was a very good game coming in from Jonathan G. I don't know. Yeah, we're seeing, um, we saw the, uh, Zane, Mega Man, and Sephiroth. Interesting stuff. Um, so, that is, I think, our actual next upset that we have. Because I'm pretty sure Zane has to be, um, our number one seed here. If I remember maybe? correctly. Yeah, maybe that makes sense. Okay, I guess. So, oh, okay, so no, um, Tejus is our number one seed, and um, Zane is our second seed, if I remember correctly, I think. It's like... Yeah, so yeah, Tejus probably won the week before, because that's how you do seeding. Mm -hmm. so, um, I can't find the seeding. This is crazy. Yeah, I mean, either way, um, that was good stuff by Jonathan. Um, Pretty, pretty good. Really play. Nice. You know, kept up the pressure. Kept up the pressure with uh, Mithra. Um, Punish was punishing pretty hard with Pyra. And you know, one thing about um, that Pyra is that a lot of Pyras tend to overextend just because they have like a big heavy sword and they just run around and start swinging, right? And I know that's a, an online tactic that people tend to do, mostly because it can be hard to react to big swing air aerials on Wi-Fi. But I do feel like uh, Jonathan G in that 